a lot of uh, drug treatments are what we call iterative, right? So you see a physician, you get a drug, direct drug either works or it does not work, and then you end up going back to the physician because the drug didn't work or it was too toxic, so you either get a different dosage or a different medication. So it's, it's kind of a trial and error method, which is not bad if you have a lot of time, but if it's a serious condition like cancer, you'd want to be getting the right dose of the right drug. So now with the sequencing and genomics technology, we're more able to precisely identify the right dosages or right drugs for you when you need it. Over the years, I've worked with Dr. Kim pretty closely in my role as a director of pharmacy, and I've watched him with his pure grit and determination, really, as he works to bring personalized medicine to the bedside. And I think it's because of his um, innovation, his vision, his passion for patient care, that patients in our region will be safer. The idea is to more broadly implement some of our approaches hospital-wide, and really uh, provide the level of additional drug safety uh, prevent unnecessary uh, adverse drug reactions and we think such approach will then lead to reduced length of stay in hospitals as well as uh, reduced readmissions. And I've been of course very fortunate to have a great team that has supported all the things we do from bench to bedside to the community type of an approach. Uh, so it, it is really I think a combination of hard work, luck and support.